What's up dudes? Sup Benny? Max here and I wanted to give you guys a quick update. With the next generation of systems coming right around the horizon, we got new games, we got new peripherals, we got all this stuff we've been looking forward to. One console's already out and one is just about to. So much so that there's been one item, one hot item that everyone's trying to get a hold of right now and I somehow got one before it's even out. I give you the Killer Instinct Tournament Edition 2 Mad Cat's Arcade Stick. Sweet Jesus, look at that box art. I'm getting a 90s nostalgia trip already. So besides the little, little things about the outside of the box that I might or might not like, what really counts is what's on the inside. So let's open this bad boy up. Ugh, there you have it. Not much else is inside the box other than the stick itself and a couple of styrofoam paddings on the side, but this is it. The TE2 Killer Instinct Arcade Stick. What's interesting about this stick is that within the next generation of consoles coming along, we do have to own new sticks for the majority of games. Even with games like Injustice on PlayStation 4 right now, and the PS4 actually does not use arcade sticks from previous generation. So at the moment, this is the only next gen arcade stick that even exists. So let's quickly talk about it. First, the weight. Uh, between other arcade sticks, like Mad Cat's arcade sticks, I really like the original Tournament Edition. That one is probably my second favorite. My first favorite definitely goes to this hulking monster over here. The Street Fighter Cross Tekken VS stick. This thing, it's huge, it's gigantic, and that's kind of what I like about it, is how much space it takes up. On your lap, it feels really freaking good, and it's one of those sticks that just has worked for me as long as I've ever used it, and I like it a lot. Now, what I do like about the TE2 is that it feels very similar. The weight is slightly less than that of the VS stick, and what I have noticed is that between the buttons and everything on here right now and how you use it, it feels so similar. Like, I, I almost kind of say that the, the joystick doesn't feel exactly the same. Like there's a little bit more tension behind it, but it could just be like a weird placebo effect. And the times I have used it, it's been really reliable. It's been good. And there's a lot of cool, like, light-up things all over the place, and there's different program settings all over the top. But for the most part, yeah, it's got all these things in it that you like about the old arcade sticks. The only thing is the price tag, it is $199, and it is the only arcade stick on the market, pretty much making it almost worth it for the fact that you want a killer instinct. So for a lot of you guys, that might not be an option. The only problem right now is that for any other people, it's not even an option either, because they're hard as hell to come by right now. They're pre-sold out, which is blows my mind because it's for KI being an Xbox One exclusive game not even multi-platform, and it's going to be a while until they start coming back in stock, maybe until the end of the year. My recommendation is to get it because it might be pretty hard to find any of these anytime soon. But yeah, pretty good impression. I've played it a lot on the Xbox One already, between times of me going down to Double Helix and playing the game. They already had Tournament Edition 2 sticks, and dude, it, it feels good. There's a lot of cool other features about it. You can like open up the inside, and you can actually pop it open and look at all this space which is perfect for just internal access to internal everything. Internal access! Well, that was weird. Uh, yeah, the, the internal access is really big. As you can see on the inside, there's just so much space in there. You can customize your buttons, and even the buttons light up with all these LEDs. That's right, it actually has... LED lighting! Jesus, man. It's got authentic arcade parts, and that's really important. Authentic arcade parts! Oh my god, dude, no. Okay, forget it. We're just playing with this thing, and that's it. Damn it, Benny, you're not an Xbox One. Shut up.